13 months ago, we went on an adventure to a Spanish island 100 kilometers off of the northwestern coast of Africa. All of the footage we captured on this trip was thought to be lost. But 13 months after this trip, we found all of the footage buried on an old hard drive. Seriously, as you can see, we, um, we have quite a lot of them. Which means we can finally share this epic trip with you. Okay, so there is a little more to this story. Originally, we weren't even going to film this adventure because we just needed some time away. But us being us, we still packed the cameras and ended up filming it anyway. But us being us, we then somehow lost the footage. So maybe this video was just not meant to be. Some people say 13 is an unlucky number, but luckily for us, 13 months after this adventure, we can finally share this video with you. This island and its marine habitat is a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve and has such a variety of different geological landscapes. Some places really felt prehistoric and like we were stepping back in time. And to make sure we got the full island experience, we hired a Citroen C4 cactus, which was a battered beast. Now the main roads were immaculate and perfectly smooth, but when you turn off, well, there wasn't exactly a road to even drive on. This place was in the middle of nowhere, but when we found it, it felt like we were exploring another planet. Apparently, these canyons were not created by water, as it rarely rains here, they were mostly created by the wind. Yes, that is a volcano. Luckily, not an active one, and we are hiking up it. Standing on the edge of this volcano and looking in was surreal. The sheer size and vastness of this volcano was really hard to comprehend. Taking a look around at the incredible panoramic views across this island felt like we were actually on Mars. This had to be one of our favourite things to do here. steep and uneven hike. I admit I wasn't prepared for it. 
For most of the hike up, we were convinced we were in the wrong place, trying to work out how to climb up random boulders and squeeze through gaps, thinking we had taken the wrong path. But then all of a sudden, our struggles have been worth it for the view of this beautiful natural stone arch. This seaside village had an incredible black sand beach, which I don't think we've ever seen before. A very popular thing to do here was walk around the windy path down the cliff edge, leading to this really impressive naturally formed cave. This geological wonder has now been declared a national monument which consists of sedimentary substrates formed in the deep ocean during the Cretaceous period, between 100 and 150 million years ago. These caves are amazing. I did not expect this. They are huge. Hearing the sound and power of these waves crashing around the cave entrance made it feel and sound really eerie. There's a lot of variety of beaches on this island. From the vast golden sands which seem to be never ending, to the dramatic black volcanic shingle beaches. But perhaps the most bizarre is the popcorn beaches. Seriously, take a closer look, it really looks like popcorn. Obviously not actual popcorn, these are created from fossils of algae. So as interesting as this popcorn-algae combination thing, they're actually protected and you are not allowed to take any away from the beaches. And if you get caught, you will get fined and penalties. And we actually did see people in the airport who tried to smuggle some home. They got in some trouble. <laughs> really enjoyed spending time and exploring this rough and harsh environment that was made up of this black volcanic rock along the coastline, which was surrounded by these white ocean waves. I just couldn't resist flying our drone around this lighthouse. And I got a little carried away and got too close to a surprise wave crashing into one of the rocks, which almost took the drone out of the sky. This island had so many visual delights on offer. From the rugged volcanic rocks, volcanoes, black shingle beaches, mountain overhangs, enormous caves, to the endless wavy sand dunes. We absolutely loved getting lost, exploring and being amongst the nature. Anyway, losing this footage 13 months ago has made us appreciate this adventure even more by being able to create and share this video with you after all this time. But there was one more epic thing that happened whilst we were away. We found a coffee shop that actually sold cruffins. Like a croissant and a muffin 
combo. Honestly, he has not stopped going on about it for 13 months. I mean, it had a pistachio filling and everything. It was amazing. Oh, hold on a minute. What have you not stopped going on about for the last 13 months? Okay, yes. One of my highlights was playing crazy golf with a cat. <laughs> now my racket back, please, Cass. <laughs>